Hello and welcome back to another video and today I'll be unboxing this Microsoft Xbox 360 Slim uh, showing you its condition and also demoing it. Now this console, the 360, 360S, whichever version you have of that console, has actually become my uh, recent favourite. I used to really enjoy the Mega Drive, the N64 and I've also been playing a lot on the Wii and the GameCube as well as the PlayStation 3 but I'm really finding the, the 360 to be that perfect sweet spot between the really retro gaming and, uh, and the later ones in that I just love how you can pop in a game and it doesn't bug you to do updates and stuff. And on top of that, you've got a, a fantastic back catalogue. And it's also, I found the majority of them to be um, like really affordable. So I'm really enjoying playing uh, the 360 at the minute, working my way through um, Gears of War and the Halo se series. But enough about that, you're here for the uh, for the unboxing. So this one here, you can see Xbox 360. This is the, the slim version, comes with the 250 gigabytes. Condition-wise, there's like a little bit of a scuff there. Uh, nothing even to mention there. Or on the back, there's a tiny little dink there, but actually a really good condition box. Only thing to mention is that the uh, the serial number on the bo on the box won't match that of the console, but yeah, that's a minor thing. Um, it, as it shows on the, uh, you've got uh, the advertisements at the time experience a world a world of entertainment but really we're more interested in the contents on the sides what you're looking for is the 360s console with a 250 gigabyte hard drive a controller or the wireless controller an av uh, cable uh, and a headset and then this just says it's got wi-fi inside and an xbox live and down there that's them trying to flog the, some extra peripherals including the the connect which we can touch on later on uh, and some other stuff like uh, what else we got? Du -du -du. Connect sensor, wireless controller, headset. I don't know what that is, but yeah, by the by. And so let's get into the unboxing. So really nice way this this unboxes. You lay it flat, as you can see, just down there at the bottom. You just take the, the flap from here, pull it out. And then it opens up like this. Now, when I send it, I will put some additional packaging around here, some bubble wrap or some some paper uh, around this this gloss uh, 360s. So the console comes out, and then you've got all those those nice inner packaging parts in there as well, which I'll come back to. So let's have a look at the console first. So as I mentioned, it's the the gloss version. So here it is. And as with all the gloss ones, there they're prone to a bit of uh, marking and scratching through people putting the controllers on and just because of how they are so as you can see there there's some light scratching across the surface uh it's just trying to catch the light i mean it, it's it, it's to be expected it's no no bad or worse than most of them are for their age so just kind of showing you around you've just got uh, that little bit there that's maybe a little bit deeper but other than that, you yeah, just light scratching around. Now with this one, I have uh, stripped it down and I've uh, uh, reapplied thermal paste. So it's, uh, it's now running uh, as quietly and as, and as coolly as it, as, it, as it can do. These 1 million percent need uh, thermal paste doing just the age of the console, the, pa the paste deteriorate, deteriorates over time. And of course, whilst I've been in there, I've cleaned everything out, all the fans and all that kind of stuff. So almost like uh, taking your car for an MOT. So that's all, all working and all sorted. And also, um, whilst we're here, you'll find, you'll see that if I open up, you can see the 250 gigabyte hard drive is in there. That's the, um, the Xbox 360 hard drive, and I'll um, I'll remove any data that's on me, so I'll basically re reset that to, before I send it. So yeah, good console, nothing nothing major to mention, just the usual uh, marks that come with the gloss one. So moving back to the box, if we open the side, this basically contains part of the power supply. So that's the bit with the plug and the bit that goes into the power supply unit. So we take that out. At the back, this is where the rest of the power supply lives that we're going to plug into the rear. Again, this is a, an official Xbox One. There's just a couple of marks on the power supply here, as you can see. But again, nothing major. On the right-hand side, this is where we'll find the, uh, the AV cable that was mentioned. And again, this is the Xbox One. Uh, not the Xbox One, but an, an Xbox 360 one. And then finally inside, 
uh, is uh, a headset. Now this only works on chat comms uh, and not the game. Because I don't connect my Xboxes to Xbox Live and play and talk to other people, I've been unable to test this, but it was uh, this bit was missing. So when I added it, I checked and they, they said it was new. Um, so I am, um, you know, hand on heart, selling this as if it's uh, with it being new and unused, which it looks like it is. So new and unused, I would expect that to work if you were to connect to Xbox Live and plug it into your controller. And last but not least, I've got a 360 wireless controller, all nice and clean. Uh, I've stripped this down, cleaned it all out on the inside and rebuilt it so you're not going to get all that horrible gunk inside there. All the buttons are nice and responsive uh, and all that kind of thing. All I'll mention is you've got you know, some signs of wear here and here, you know where people rest it down on the uh, console and take it on and off. Also some small signs of wear just here and here, just through its use, but it plays absolutely fine. And then at the back here, you can see at the back, and I only noticed this when I was rebuilding it actually, is there is just a tiny bit of plastic just missing there from the base of that and when you open it up if you ever wonder why that uh, that is slightly crinkled that sticker there that's because when you uh, take the controllers apart you've got the obvious screws but there's also one hidden behind there so i have to lift it up to get to that screw to take it apart and clean it out so that's everything in there it's just a really nice box you know the form factor the way it opens up only thing i, I, I would expect there to be in, in addition would maybe be um a manual or something when you got it or it's some kind of guarantee or warranty from from uh, microsoft so that's all that opened up and i was thinking it'd be great to just do this in one video so what i'm going to do is now plug all of that in fire it up and, and we'll take a look so i'll pop this to to one side and bring the console over and get everything plugged in so just going behind the camera to plug in some power i'd have to do it all like this because i'm not i don't really have any editing skills to uh, to do this separately and then jump cut so that's now plugged in that's going into the power unit and then into the back so that's our power all sorted next uh i will uh, plug in our AV cable because this is the one you're going to get but I will also demonstrate it on HDMI so you'll reassure that that works so pop that in the back as well and I will plug that into the tally Okay, so that's plugged into my TV as we'll see in a moment. Next, the controller. Batteries in. So that's us all set. Power on, power the controller on, and we'll sync it. If you remember, you use the sync button on the top and also just this button here as well just at the end, so we'll do all that, let it sync up. There we go, so now synced, and the moment of truth, I'll bring you up. And what I'll do, we've got us ourselves on AV now, so I'll power on the telly. And there we go, so there's your AV feed all going through, and with the controller, you can see everything everything working on here. Uh, but what I'll do now is, just because that feed isn't great to look at, I'll also show you working on HDMI. So I've got my own HDMI cable. This won't be included, but I'm sure you've got an HDMI, HDMI cable at home. So I'll take my HDMI, plug this into the back. And I'm just going to remove the AV cable. So that's the HDMI plugged in now. And 
Let's just restart the console. There we go. So you can see the difference. Obviously, I'm going to rebuild it as if it was back in the day. But look at the, the difference. You, you're more than likely going to play it on HDMI. But I know some people, they might already have all their HDMI ports full of more modern consoles and you might want the AV. So there we go, up and running. And we'll demonstrate a game working as well. So this is a, this is quite a good one. This is the uh, Gears of War. It puts a one and two, I think it is, on the same disc. So pop this open. And you can hear how quietly the Xbox is, 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 run, is purring, just sat there. So open this up. And Gears of War is a good one to demonstrate because it uses pretty much all, all the controls as well. Okay, press start. Let's get into a campaign. No, no uh, user profile. I may have already wiped this hard drive. I'll, I'll double check in a minute. Anyway, I would love to, some of you would just be jumping ahead anyway, so uh, the pro I think I've already formatted it, so it's basically starting the game. I've got, if I were, if we were to jump straight into the action, I'd be able to demonstrate this a little bit quicker, but I'm sure, I'm sure you, I'm sure you won't mind. Uh, let's give it 15 more seconds. What a game, by the way. Right, here we go. So... You go forward, back, left, right. When, uh, that's your teammate. Uh, this is reload. So if we uh, fire a gun, reload. Left hand side is aim, and then this is look around. Uh, you've already seen me use the uh, the X. It's interact. Uh, this is this is uh, roll or, or do whatever, and then that's melee. So you can see all 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 working absolutely fine. So we'll now go back to the home page. And the last thing I'll mention is uh, because it's, I'm going to send this, uh, the, the box in a bigger box, I actually have room to fit in one of these as well. So an Xbox 360 Connect. Uh, so if I plug this in, so there's a Connect uh, socket on the back of your console, the one with the orange next to it plug this in and there you can see it's now saying Xbox detected uh, connect sensor detected and if you remember they tried to force the uh, connect onto everyone when it first came out and then later it was optional uh, not many games need it and essentially it's just a way of uh, either using hand motions or talking to the connect to tell it to tell it to um, record things etc so if we go in here I think yeah over there for the connect uh, sensor we turn it on and then usually I think from memory it will show us on our home screen so you can see it's starting up on the bottom and then when it when it wakes up because it takes a little a little bit of time to wake up you'll probably just get a, a kind of behind the scenes view of uh, of my room uh, from from the knee to the sofa but we'll, we'll let this load up but whilst that's working, in summary, I'll bring you back down here. So in summary, you get the um, the nice condition box with just literally minor stuff on it, a couple of dinks. The only thing is that the serial number doesn't match the back of the console. You then get the console uh, gloss black with just the usual kind of wear and tear, but I've stripped it down. 
cleaned it all out, uh, reapplied thermal paste, got all the dust out, just made sure everything's good. And then you get all the accessories that would come with this. You get both parts of the um, both parts of the power supply. You get the um, the headphones. You get uh, the a fully working, stripped and rebuilt controller. Uh, only things to mention again is minor signs of wear and there's that tiny little bit missing off the back. And you get the AV cable. Um, you may choose to use um, HDMI, which is better. And you've seen everything up and, up and running and I'll make sure it's cleared. And as a freebie, because I'm sending this in a bigger box, I'll also include the connect should you want to use it. And as you can now see up there, you can now see the, uh, the connect is up and running. Look, there's my, there's my hand waving in front of it. So anyway, I really hope you've in, enjoyed the, the unboxing and demonstration. Uh, this will be for sale shortly on my eBay page. Uh, a really fantastic system to play on. I've got a 360 of my own. So um, yeah, I hope you enjoy it. Until the next one, uh, take it easy and see you.